In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a particular page builder plugin that a lot of you guys here on the channel have been talking about. Many of you claim that Elementor is old school and that Elementor is on the way out and that this new page builder plugin is going to become the king of WordPress page builders. And of course, I'm talking about the Oxygen page builder plugin. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my honest thoughts about Oxygen whether or not it's actually better than Elementor, is it faster than Elementor, is it more powerful than Elementor, and also whether or not you should switch from Elementor to using Oxygen. First things first though, let me show you some actual evidence that I did buy the plugin because I don't want anyone in the comment section claiming that, Alex, you didn't actually buy the plugin, you're only forming your opinion based on articles that you read online. No, I did buy the plugin, in fact, I bought the ultimate edition of the plugin that has all the features. You can see it right there, that is my receipt, my ID. And yesterday, I spent about three to four hours just working with the Oxygen Page Builder plugin. I built pages, I built templates, just trying to get a feel of how the plugin actually works and what you can accomplish using the plugin and comparing it with Elementor. And I now feel I'm in a good position to give you my honest thoughts about the Page Builder plugin. Let me also mention that one of the key reasons why people have been switching from Elementor to other page builders, not necessarily Oxygen, but other page builders, is because of the bloat or bloatness that comes with Elementor nowadays. Now, believe it or not, about a year, a year and a half ago, Elementor used to be one of the fastest page builders, but as they've added more functionality, more features, it has become quite bloated. And if you've built your site with Elementor, you might notice a drop in the page speed and let me mention right now that Elementor have actually done something to address that issue. I'll talk more about it towards the end of the video. But let's talk about Oxygen right now and the advantages it has over Elementor. First things first here is going to be speed. This is a very, very important factor. And just based on what I was able to do yesterday and the feel of working in the back end of Oxygen, I can tell you that it is indeed faster than Elementor. I also spent some time reading articles online that compared Elementor and Oxygen, and I couldn't find a single person or a single article where they claimed that Elementor was actually faster than Oxygen. So I think it's safe to assume that Oxygen is in fact much faster than Elementor. The second advantage here is that Oxygen is actually considerably cheaper than Elementor. Now, if you go to the pricing page for Oxygen, you'll see numbers like 129, 169, 199. But then when you go to Elementor's pricing page, you see numbers like $49, $99. And you might think to yourself, Elementor is actually cheaper than Oxygen. But hold on, when you look deeper into the details, you suddenly realize that these numbers you're seeing right here for Oxygen, these are actual one-time payments for a lifetime access Plus, you get to use that package on an unlimited number of websites. However, with Elementor, even though you get cheaper numbers like $49.99, the thing is, there are restrictions. You can only use them on a certain number of websites, and then you also have to renew the license every single year. So when you think about it, Oxygen is so much more affordable than Elementor. Now, the third advantage that Oxygen has over Elementor, and I said advantage with air quotes because it's not really an advantage per se. It all depends on who is actually using the plugin. But the advantage is that Oxygen provides you with more powerful features than Elementor. Now, take a look at this page right here. This is from the Oxygen website where they compare Oxygen with other page builders. And right here, you can see on the layout features, you have Flexbox controls, and then you have CSS Grid, two features that Oxygen provides you, which no other page builder provides you. Now the thing is, if you're watching this video and you have no idea what these are, then I can tell you right now that Oxygen is not meant for you. However, if you know what they are and you know how to work with them, Oxygen is going to be perfect for you. And now this is where the biggest difference between Oxygen and Elementor comes into play. Oxygen, I would say, is the first ever page builder or site builder designed for WordPress developers, while Elementor has been designed for regular individuals. So if you're watching this video right now and you are a web developer, you know how to work with PHP, you know how to work with CSS, then I can tell you that Oxygen is gonna be so much better for you. However, 
If you're a regular individual, you just want to learn how to build your own website or just build simple websites, Elementor is much better because when it comes to the learning curve, Elementor is so much easier to learn. Oxygen, it's going to take a while for you to actually learn how to use it fully because it provides you with so much more powerful features and there are almost no restrictions when you use Oxygen. In fact, when you install and you activate Oxygen, your themes become disabled. You cannot use any WordPress theme with Oxygen. Oxygen takes complete control and that is could be an advantage or a disadvantage. It's an advantage if you are a bona fide developer, you don't need a theme, you want to be able to build your own website from the ground up, but it could be a disadvantage if you want to use a theme and you just want to use a page builder to build the content around that theme. You cannot do that with Oxygen, but you can do that with Elementor. So now to the ultimate question, should you switch from Oxygen to Elementor? To answer that, let me mention a few things about Elementor first. You may have noticed a few days ago that Elementor had a new update, Elementor 3.3, and in that update, they've actually addressed many of the issues that they had with speed. See, in the past, when Elementor loaded a page, Elementor will load all its code, regardless of whether or not that code was being used on that page. However, with the latest version of Elementor, Elementor will only load the code that's being used on that particular page, while any other code or any other script will not be loaded. Just a very simple summary, Elementor is now much faster than what it used to be in the past. It may not be still as fast as Oxygen. I still believe Oxygen will be a faster option than Elementor. However, Elementor is making changes to the way it works. The developers are working on performance, and I do believe that in the coming months, they'll make even more changes that will further improve the performance of Elementor. So from a speed perspective, you might want to hold off switching from Elementor to Oxygen because like I said, Elementor know they have issues with their plugin when it comes to performance, and they are making big changes to how the our plugin works. And I believe that in the coming months, you would even see better performances when you're working with Elementor. Now for the second thing, which is the pricing, Elementor is not the best option for agencies. If you are a web developer or you own an agency that builds websites for clients, Oxygen is a much better alternative because it is more powerful. Plus, it's also a lot more affordable than Elementor. So if you're in the web design business, web development business, Oxygen might just be a much better option for you than Elementor. And then third, which is the functionalities and features. Yes, Oxygen is so much more powerful than Elementor, but like I said earlier, you need to be a developer in order to be able to take full advantage of what Oxygen provides you. Let me also stress that on this page right here where they compared Oxygen with Elementor, they're comparing Oxygen with the standard Elementor Pro plugin. If you wanted to extend the functionalities, make Elementor Pro a lot more powerful. There are plugins like Dynamic Content and Coco Block that do a fantastic job of making the default Elementor Pro plugin so much more powerful. So keep that in mind. So to summarize, should you switch from Oxygen to Elementor? Well, it depends. If you're a developer, you own an agency, Oxygen is going to be so much of a better option than Elementor. If speed is your priority, I would recommend you wait for a few more months and see where Elementor goes from here. They have made a significant change with the latest updates to how Elementor works. And I believe that in coming updates, the performance of Elementor will only improve. So I would recommend that you wait for a while and see where Elementor goes from here. So at this point, I'd love to hear from you. Have you used Oxygen? Have you used Elementor? Which of the two do you think is better? If you're currently working with Elementor, do you plan to switch to Oxygen? Let me hear your thoughts and comments down below. If you have any questions, of course, put them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share the video with anyone who may feel my benefit. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. I'll talk to you next time. Stay safe out there and all the best. Cheers.